Uh, hey, Mark. <laughs> what did you do with the microphone? Oh, I was just going to record a video about the new uh, stencil features in OmniGraffle 7.6. Oh, cool. Uh, you want me to show you? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Could you? Sure. All right. So you're used to having the stencils up here in the toolbar. Mm -hmm. Click on the button, get the pop over. And we've kept that there. We've got your view controls so you can see things in a list view or in a grid or as they are on the canvas. Mm -hmm. But now we've got some new options like being able to hide and close or toggle this uh, sidebar open and closed. Okay. You can use the icon over here on the right to pop this out into a, its own window. And from here, you can switch over to the left side controls and toggle this uh, to either columns or a stacked view. So whichever oh, cool. is uh, your preference. So normally I would just drag stencils right out of this onto the canvas, right? But yeah. right now, since our monitor is kind of small, it's covering almost the entire canvas. How can yeah. we get around that? Well, let's uh, go up here to the preferences and switch this over so that the stencil browser shows on the right side. Oh, cool. Now I have an uncluttered view of my canvas and I still have access to all of my stencil content. Okay. And in any of the views, you can click on this icon and control background color, what metadata is showing, um, additional uh, con visibility controls for you. Okay. But let's put some content on here. Let me find my, my colors. So here I've got selection of my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. Grab this green one here and let's see if we can make a few tweaks. It's a little bright for today. <laughs> Maybe we can tone that down a little very, bit. Very cloudy yeah. green sky day. That's true. In fact, let's just call this uh, Seattle green. <laughs> uh, now that I've got the, the ultimate Seattle green mm -hmm. saved here, I'm going to come back to the stencil window, hold down the option key, just like I was going to duplicate something on the canvas, mm -hmm. but I'm going to pull it over to the stencil. And when I drop it on there, automatically saves that uh, object to the stencil, uh, saved immediately, now available for reuse in this document or any of my other documents. Oh, that sounds great. It seems like it'd make it a lot easier to just take anything I'm working on for this project and immediately make a stencil out of it. Exactly. You can even use it as a little uh, scratch space for uh, things you just want to hold on to for a minute. Huh. Now, our stencils also have had the ability to have uh, metadata properties. Mm -hmm. So come over to my networking stencil, kind of diagram the, the voice network project that I was working on over the uh, weekend. Like you do. Uh, you know, come over to the properties and I can actually define some values here. This is the IP address for that phone. Exactly. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get the, the switch that these are all connected to. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a lot of going back and forth between those two tabs there, Dan. You're right. And we can fix that by coming back to our preferences and changing the stencil browser location over to the left sidebar. Huh. This means we have our stencil content here. Mm -hmm. I can grab out my wife's phone, drop that there, and I can have my properties set up on this side. Oh, so you can see everything at the same time. Yes. Now it's really easy to have left to right workflow uh, for adding content to the canvas, defining its properties. Um, works for other stencils as well. You can work on your flow chart. Let's start with a document and come over to the properties here and quickly define a nice color for it. Mm -hmm. And maybe different teams have different colors in this uh, workflow that I'm, that I'm documenting. Mm -hmm. So as I drag things on, I can quickly hit the color for that, uh, for that team. Oh, that's cool. And I end up with a really easy way to quickly add content, see it on the canvas, and then manipulate it in the inspectors all without changing any tabs. Kind of a nice left to right workflow there. Yeah. Now, since we're talking about you know charting, mm -hmm. I often like to have you know my flowchart stencil, but also my connections. So let me hold down the command key here, click on connections, 
And now I've got in the stencil window, the browser window here, mm -hmm. I have my flow chart and my connections all in the same view. Oh, cool. It makes it really easy to uh, not have to click back and forth again, have the content readily available. Mm -hmm. And I can pull out this line and use it within, within my document. This also works for folders. So if we come down here, let's say I'm working on my uh, design project. I can just click on my UX and UI folder here, mm -hmm. and I have access to all of the stencils within that folder just by clicking the folder name. So I can pull out the device here, mm -hmm. quickly scroll down here, and start pulling out the icons that I need to place into the navigation area. Oh, that's super handy. So uh, can I, is it easy to make my own folders in here too? Yeah, actually we've added some new stuff to the resource browser to make this even easier. So let's open this up. And so let's say for my flowchart, I wanted to create a, a folder that made it really easy to get in charting mode. Mm -hmm. So let's make a new folder from the selection. Just call it charting. Mm -hmm. And now I have a folder called charting and it's got my stencil in it. Okay. And remember, I love my connections when right. I'm charting. So let's grab that, drag it over and drop it into the charting folder. Now I've got my my connections and my flow chart hanging out together. This structure here that you see in the sidebar is the same structure you're going to see in the stencil browser uh, file structure. Mm -hmm. So come up here, here's my charting folder, click that, and I've instantly got access to my connections and flowchart. Oh, that's super handy. Yeah. It makes using stencils and using OmniGraffle a lot easier. And that's what's new in OmniGraffle 7.6. Cool, Dan. Thanks a lot. That saved me a lot of time. I'm going to go get a coffee. Uh, uh, can I get an Americano? Download your free trial today at OmniGraffle.com.